होता क्या इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज के अंदर पहले तीन चार महीने में समझ आ जाता है ये तो मैं कर नहीं सकता सो आई बिन राइटिंग सिंस सिंस आई वाज 14 15 सो आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ राइटिंग एक्सपीरियंस अंडर माय बेल्ट इफ इन दिस 3 टू 4 मंथ्स आई एम एबल टू लैंड अ जॉब ऑफ समवेयर इन बॉम्बे वेयर आई दैट आई लाइक इट्स ऑल गुड इफ इफ आई इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू लैंड इट ठीक है अगस्त के अंदर बैकअप है नथिंग इज रियली बीइंग सॉल्वड विद द रियल वर्ल्ड नॉलेज सी यू आर एक्चुअली हैपेंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ टीचिंग इन फैक्ट आई डिसाइडेड दैट आई एम गोना ट्राई एंड बी द टीचर हु लिसंस saying that pandemic pandemic but i don't think anybody realizes that it's a crisis hi nikhil hi man how are you good man how are you doing well <laughs> not bad all <laughs> things considered exactly so this is this is one of the things that i want didn't want to start uh, today's live with uh, how are you <laughs> because i saw your video <laughs> and uh, you just which is so true so because uh, if you if you actually go and ask somebody how are you uh, everybody just gives the answer you know subconsciously by saying you know badhiya hai sab kuch theek hai but then if you actually go on saying that you know i am not good or i am so i am feeling this way yeah uh, the entire hour and a half goes in explaining how you are so i think this is something that's i mean that video hit hit i mean hit the right chord Uh, exactly. but the moment you have uh, uh, you know professional conversations do you really want to get into how are you <laughs> because it will take some time correct but uh, i mean i mean at least at this point of time i think it's um, i've always i realized uh, i've realized that obviously given that i have a certain bit of privilege i have access to food i have uh, I, i still have uh, money coming in i have uh, the internet at my disposal uh, so i mean i i even no matter how i'm feeling i think i i like now saying that i'm not bad at all um, right. given what is happening to so many people uh, you know in the country outside of our doors and windows right awesome uh, i was reading about you nikhil and uh, you know it said that you were you were doing engineering uh, you did engineering from nit uh, and then you you know started uh, teaching journalism at jain college so uh, yeah. So how has how's been the shift from engineering to journalism? Uh the shift actually happened within the first 3 months of engineering. Ki hota kya engineering college ke andar pehle 3 4 mahine mein samajh aata hai ye to main kar nahi sakta. Fir 3.5 saal lagte hain samajhne ko karna ye I think ye story uh, sare engineers ke liye applicable. This is universally applicable to all engineers. Yeah yeah. No absolutely you know so so immediately i think within the, within the first semester i realized how will i you know ye nahi kar sakta main and then i i but i didn't you know i mean again i am of that generation jab i think you know i was in my second year when chetan bhagat uh, you know came out with a book so until my first okay. year there was no no example of anybody who has uh, <laughs> done engineering and then ended up being in media or whatever you know done right. something creative after that uh-huh. uh, so um, so i had no clue That you know, uh-huh. I could do anything outside of engineering. So I said, engineering to do will be hard, but uh-huh. perhaps within engineering college, I could do something different. So I, I literally did every extracurricular activity that was available in NIT Kurukshetra. Every single one of them. Uh, I, I, I started my own magazine. I within I start I, we sold that magazine in places like IIT Kanpur and what not. Wow. Because at that that level, we had a magazine opened, chalai, etc. etc. Within a college setup. and uh, uh, so i've been writing since since i was 14 15 so i had a lot mm-hmm. of uh, writing experience under my belt and uh, i knew that engineering khatam karke i had like that one opportunity either mm-hmm. either i i try for a job now uh, and and shift my field uh, today or uh, you know who knows when it will ever happen you mm-hmm. know so I nothing to lose right it was like i had already got two placements और मैंने ऐसा किया था मेरे पास दो प्लेसमेंट हो गई थी एक थी जॉइनिंग आई थिंक इन मे जून आफ्टर एंड वन जॉइनिंग वाज इन अगस्त सितंबर सो आई सेड कि जो ना मैं अगस्त सितंबर तक ना आई आई गिव इट माय बेस्ट शॉट इफ इन दिस 3 टू 4 मंथ्स आई एम एबल टू लैंड अ जॉब ऑफ समवेयर इन बॉम्बे वेयर आई दैट आई लाइक इट्स ऑल गुड इफ इफ आई इफ आई एम नॉट एबल टू लैंड इट ठीक है अगस्त के अंदर बैकअप है बट फॉर्चुनेटली आई गॉट हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स आई लैंडेड अप इन हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ऑल द राइटिंग दैट आई डन uh and yeah so i started i became an entertainment journalist uh, in 2008 with hindustan times 
and uh, after that i i had a bunch of interns who used to come in and go out and i realized that uh, none of them <laughs> like i was an engineer so i had an excuse for not really knowing how journalism works to a, to a large extent right. but uh, but after I, i would see my interns who would come from bmm college i would just be like what's your excuse to me to journalism aana chahiye Ah. and uh, uh, i would i would notice that they don't and then i started realizing that you know unfortunately journalism colleges uh, the way that it was very it was very similar to the way that engineering colleges operated ah. that everything that was taught is archaic nothing mm. is really being taught with the real world knowledge uh, right. and i used to always be that senior in uh, even in nd kurukshetra who used to uh, mm. you know ask uh, who used to take an interest in my juniors wagera to maine kaha main koshish right. karunga let, let's give it a shot Mm-hmm. and uh, yeah ended up i i asked uh, would, would you uh, jn college if they were okay with having a really young professor they agreed and that's how it sort of happened awesome awesome great man uh, how did how did you uh, was uh, idea come into come into force how did you think that you know something like vr you want needs to come out as uh, so you were actually happened because of uh, uh, teaching in fact uh because uh, you know i realized while i was teaching and i taught seven years i have taught seven batches of jain college uh, of journalism students of third year bmm students of uh, news reporting in jain college and okay. uh, um, every single year that i would teach them i would realize that and i was i was a content creator because i was from hindustan times i went into mtv india then i went to yashraj films and yashraj i was heading content and development for wife films so i made a bunch of those web series i produced thank mm-hmm. bajabara adman's world lady zoom uh, some of the first few web series that one of the first 10 web series actually four of the first 10 web series that came in india were produced by me so mm-hmm. uh, so i was i was i happened to be at the right place at the right time working on youth content but mm-hmm. i also realized that while i was working on youth content for a very long time we would be sitting in these glass cabins in in andheri and we would be deciding what young people want to watch and right. i would always find that absurd i would be like just wait how do you know how can we in a glass cabin in andheri decide ki puri duniya ko kya dekhna hai puri country ke youth ko kya dekhna hai without right. actually having ever met young people without ever having heard young people so right. i would i would start i started by listening to the young people in my classes classroom i would uh, literally try and do that one thing that i feel a lot of teachers don't do because our education system also is quite a very flawed every right, young right. person has something to say but there is no one to listen you know whether right. it is your teachers whether it is your parents whether it is your peers sunne wala koi nahi sabko kuch na kuch kehna hota hai i decided that i am going to try and be the teacher who listens and the moment i did that i think my life changed I, you know and and when they started opening up to me when they started telling me what they felt and what they were going through i realized the huge gap between uh, what young people think and feel and and the gap and and what we were creating as content which had like nothing to do with it matlab hamari bollywood ke andar na till like i think 2014 2015 young logs se do kaam karte the ya to pyar mein padte the ya murder karte the like think about it like that's literally yeah, yeah. bollywood till 2014 15 right? right and right. after the digital revolution like things have started changing right. so uh, so so fortunately i was at the right place at the right time this started listening to young people started deciding that uh, perhaps we should we should listen translate what they want into content uh, did a bit of that at yashraj but realized that i couldn't i wanted to do a little bit more than that as well try and create right. an impact in their lives uh, mm-hmm. which is where uh, uh, you are really came from uh, to to kind of create a forum where we listen to young people and then find a way through content to address the issues that they're going through uh, but 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 the point being uh, nikhil is that you know everybody in this lockdown period has this one thing to say that you know be productive and be be you know don't waste your time don't yeah. get bored so is this is there productivity pressure during the lock, during the lockdown for everybody uh, like for example i think that everyone kind of processes things differently and at different times right. uh, so so if if somebody took like 6 hours to process this and said theek hai koi baat hi main to kar lunga but there mm. might be somebody for example like me uh, who might take 2 to 3 weeks to process there might be somebody who might actually not a process even till now you know right. and just be like wait what is going on how do we come out of this like there's so many young mm-hmm. people who are now suddenly graduating into a job market where you know where earlier anyway itne kam jobs the 
अब तो पता नहीं क्या होने वाला अगले दो तीन साल पे तो यू अंडरस्टैंड प्रोडक्टिविटी कॉम्पिटिशन ना नॉट एवरीबडी कैन बी एज प्रोडक्टिव एज समी एल्स नॉट एवरीबडी कैन यू नो बी इन द सेम माइंड स्पेस एज अदर्स स्पेशली गिवन द फैक्ट दैट हम लोग ना वी कीप सेम दैट पैंडमिक पैंडमिक बट आई डोट एनीबडी रियलाइज इज दैट it's hmm. a crisis in this situation i think the number one thing is really take care of yourself you know take hmm. care of uh, ex, you know and take some time to process and accept what is going on and then of course uh, you know you have to find a way to get on with life robert frost said this beautiful thing right uh, you know he said if i could sum up life in in three words it would be it goes on you know right, so i mean right. it has to go on and uh, uh, you know so you will be productive at some time but don't take right. it's not a competition right. it's a crisis right, right. with regard to mental health also i think i am also an advocate for mental health uh, because i've been uh, i so i created a video uh, this october on world mental health day uh, it's called tu bas okay. baat kar uh, okay theek hai so uh, it, it got a, it got somewhat a good response do you think uh, people uh, of people say around 40 45 45 years old people who are who are ideally our parents uh, do you think yeah. they they think mental illness to be a genuine problem or do you think that it is a bit of bekar baat hai sab drama hai tum log ka naya generation ka ye sab aur drama ho gaya hai what is this mental health all about is this actually do people actually think mental illness is actually an illness or do you do you think they they think it theek hai sab jo bhi hai so my understanding is obviously based on all the conversations i have had with young people so we do this thing called the ur road show of kindness so we have actually been over the last two years to over 100 colleges in over 50 60 cities uh, sorry over 30 35 cities 100 plus colleges across india we have literally met over 5 5 to 7000 young people and right. uh, uh, and and every single person that i have spoken to uh, you know has this issue with that the parents don't understand them uh, tv was also an aspirational thing at that point of time mm-hmm. when they were going correct so right. their their understanding of the world has only happened when they have reached their 20s their 30s etc mm-hmm. and uske andar itna kuch waisi samajhne ko itna kuch seekhne ko hai try right. to make a life of ourselves suddenly there is a technological revolution and you have to mm-hmm. constantly be at your feet to do better 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 uh, mm-hmm. it's it's okay that they they, they don't understand but unfortunately i think the onus of understanding has to now be on the young people uh, young people have to understand that their parents don't understand uh, the the right. onus uh, it's a responsibility of young people to explain to their parents what mental health is they to kaise samajh aayega unko you know kyunki kisi ne bataya nahi hai it's it's presumptuous of us to uh, assume that just because somebody is older they have mm. to have uh, uh, to have to be more uh, mature majority of course experience of course but mm. your world you can still is shaped by the world mm. the lives that you lead and the circumstances that you have so, mm. so if your parents have only only been living in a very uh, in a simple way in a in a in a in, in a, a one place all their lives how do you assume, how do you expect them to kind of have that world view that you you have or right. understand the problems that might be unique to mm. you so i think the the answer is conversation i think the answer is again listening talking uh, speaking with the uh, your parents and and yes i do think the parents don't understand uh, a lot of the time uh, but there is, there is no such thing i i don't believe that they they won't understand if we try and have that conversation right 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 and people and also one more thing depression people use depression in a very in a very wo bahut easily log conversation mein bhaga dete hain meme ban gaya hai depression Haan. is a meme now ki right, i am depressed right. haha lol <laughs> और रिस्पांस आता है मी टू हा हा लॉल यू नो डिप्रेशन तो अभी मीम बना हुआ है ना एक दूसरे के साथ हम लोग जो है यू सी यू आई आई हैव सीन लाइक दैट दैट द डार्क मीम्स दैट एवरीबॉडी काइंड ऑफ पुट्स अप एंड इट्स अ जोक अनफॉर्चूनेटली देयर इज अ रियली सीरियस थिंग दैट पीपल माइट बी गोइंग थ्रू अंडरनीथ व्हिच दे डोंट टॉक अबाउट बिकॉज़ दैट लैंग्वेज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज इज मीम्स द लैंग्वेज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज 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 कॉमेडी सो व्हिच इज व्हाई व्हाट वी आल्सो डू सो इफ यू सी दैट वी डू आल्सो डू अ लॉट ऑफ मीम्स एंड दोस मीम्स आर सम सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट रियली गो वायरल फॉर अस Okay, Kangshi is saying, "Do share your creative process. How do you do soundboarding of ideas at VR Yuva?" Ah, uh, so so our my our process is very simple. We kind of ah, uh, uh, it's it's incredibly democratic. You know, we all mm-hmm. think of ideas, we all listen to ideas, and uh, um, I I try not being the dis- decision maker on what ideas are the ideas we should go with. In fact, mm-hmm. I'll, I because we are a company called Yuva, and a lot of our team is under twenty five. 
I actually leave it to the youngest people in the team and be like, are you guys liking it? Mm-hmm. Are you guys feeling that this is an idea that we should go for? Would you be interested if if you if this is the content that we create? Would you care for it? So right, that's right. really like again. I think I think listening is not just something that we do for our audiences. It's also a process that we really truly really believe in uh, right. in house as well. Uh, so, so talk us about goalkeepers. Talk about talk us about your uh, panic attack experience in New York. How was it? So, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has an annual event called Goalkeepers uh, that mm-hmm. takes place in New York uh, every year, uh, okay. where uh, uh, you know they bring together some of the uh, some young people and and I mean they're emerging leaders and established leaders from across the world. Three hundred fifty people are invited to be part of this event, and okay. the speaker list is. Uh, You know, so for example, year one the speaker list was Barack Obama, Justin Trudeau, oh, uh, Malala, man. you know, <laughs> Bill like, Gates, Malala Melinda Gates. Like, yeah. yeah, you know, you have uh, Queen Rania. Even even Narendra Modi was there, uh, RPM. So wow. so there's uh, 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 you have. I mean, everyone. Stephen Fry, Richard Curtis. The the list goes on. It's quite a spectacular event in that way. Uh, that uh, they 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 call all the people that they feel are in some ways adding to. uh changing the world in terms of social impact and uh, because of mm-hmm. the work that we had done they gen- they they somehow felt that we were right for it now i was right. going that was the year when i started first having uh, anxiety small little thing that could happen in the beginning of the day right. would right. ruin the entire day for me and i just right. then get to a point where i feel like ka fayda bhi gaya you uh, know and uh, uh So anxiety was very difficult for me to deal with. I don't think I'd fully grasped or understood. I started yeah. taking therapy, which was, which I think was the best decision of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, therapy, I was still grappling with it. But uh, so when I reached uh, New York and and they had called me uh, for this event, uh, you know, I remember uh, I just in the morning I was in the Four Seasons Hotel, uh, yeah. you know, and uh, Barack Obama was supposed to speak in three to four hours. Uh, and i'm supposed to have been at the event in the next one hour but i'm not able to get get up from my bed because mere dimag mein ek hi chal raha tha ki main ja kar i'm going to make a fool of myself main wahan par jaunga i obviously don't belong with these people uh, you know because that's how your mind works right i was like you know what is even the point of this i'll go and i'll right. take some pictures i'll put it up on instagram and say chalo dekho maine main obama dikh kar aaya hu you know or i've been in the same ah, place as obama but but really what is my contribution to the world why i would do i really belong here i've just made some three web series there are there are people who have literally changed the world over here and i think i took a lot of strength from that day uh, because i was in an event where some of the most beautiful brilliant minds of the world were there people mm-hmm. who genuinely are are putting themselves out for bringing worldwide change right. and and just being in their company on that day listening to barack obama listening to all these you know and and even the the emerging leaders not just the famous people it made me realize that there's so much more i could do and contribute in the world and why do i feel like this is this is all even if i don't belong here today i want to get to the place that i belong here some correct And correct, that's correct. what I kind of took back, uh, and and so when I went back to India, I kind of quit Yashraj. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, and and yeah. uh, the next three to four months, uh, uh, yeah, I I took a sabbatical actually for six months to think what okay. I want to do, and that's okay. that's how you are really happened. Uh, and I think what you said really nicely about about being uh, uh, that if you're the smartest. If you are the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. I completely agree. That's in fact one of the uh, motors of my life. Uh, yeah. In fact, even at Yuva, all the young people that I surround myself with, I think they're way smarter, way uh, cooler uh, than I am. Uh, yeah. I'm just more experienced, as you said. <laughs> uh, you know, but but I always think you're that taking this I, to heart I, now. I, I, no, I'm just I'm, I'm just joking, man. I yeah, I, yeah, I always look at it as I always look at it as something that I can people that I can learn from. I always always try to learn from people, no matter right. what age they are. Uh, no matter if they are younger older you know same age as as mine i always try and approach every conversation every room that i'm uh, in with a sense of humility because right. i mean the moment the day i start thinking that i'm smarter than the rest that's the day that i don't think i could exactly. i don't know i don't think i would be able to do any good work after that right. you know we cannot compare lives people have led you know i right, can't ever right. think that are maine zyada ukhada hai usse kam ukhada hai that's right, just the right. wrong way of looking at it i'm right. i'm sure at 24 man you've you've you've, you've If you are if you have a company at twenty four, you have led a life which is uh, which I'd love to know so much more about. 
because uh, if you are already doing i saw your lives i've i've seen some of your other lives as well so if you are doing the, these lives at this age you are making sure that even during this time you are being so productive uh, you are talking about such important things uh, right. you know i'm sure uh, uh, there is so much i have to learn from you and i'm very very happy about that i'm very uh, in fact i i i want to <laughs> that's something that i always get <laughs> eager about right. you know mujhe janna hai tum mujhe apne bare mein batao how did this happen <laughs> Awesome man, awesome. So, uh, so you can do one of one of the one of the live sessions where you can invite me on your show, and I'm going to speak about. I I, I I t- totally will, <laughs> man. I mean, I I find I find stories. I find uh, stories. I think there's so much more to learn in the stories of people. Absolutely, uh, then, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah, then 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 in like the achievements that we kind of see. I idolize uh, Gary V. Uh, I'm sure you you must have heard of heard of him. Yeah, so Gary, yeah. I, I'm a huge huge Gary V fan. Okay, <laughs> I, I I call him as Guruji when whenever in my stories or in my posts I call him as Guruji because I mean the, that man is something. That man is something because uh, so even he said that you know uh, you might be 15 and you might be either be 15 or you might either be 30. And for example, you are 15. You might have started a journey at six, so you've got nine years of experience. And then you you are 30. And then you must have been you you must have started a journey at say twenty two, so you've got eight years of experience, yeah. right? So yeah. I think I think th- that's that's just the you know perspective. That's it. I mean the, the way that he's it's that, all that, absolutely man. I think absolutely so much of it is just I don't think that anything is impossible at any point of time. You know, uh, mm. uh, and uh, as, you know I think a lot of it just comes down to a perspective. A lot of it just right. comes down to uh, uh, not uh, a lot of it also comes down to unlearning. you know kya right, right, right. sikha humko we we have learned in this like the straight direction every indian kid like is tried to homo 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 jis tarike se na humko education se sikhata hai ki ye hota hai success ye hai paisa ye hai settle hona matlab engineering karo mba karo whatever every uh-huh. you know and it's so weird society tries to always kind of make you homo jis uh-huh. you know whereas uh, and everybody who's who and when you actually look at the people who become successful they are the ones who break out they are the ones right, you know right, who right, right. who kind of right. don't follow and leave you know but that's never taught to us so right. uh, so i think i think we have to kind of reject some of the societal uh, uh, conditioning Norms, that we have yeah, unlearn yeah. that yeah, yeah and and i think that would help us a lot more so last 3 minutes on the live i think before before we wrap <laughs> up uh, one yeah. advice you would like to give to your 18 year old nikhil <laughs> uh i would i i that's a great uh, question um i would go back to go back in time and tell him what i have been telling the world right now uh-huh. uh, which is to be slightly kinder uh uh-huh. you know and uh, uh, don't try to be cool don't try to uh, don't run after success uh you know over valuing the relationships in your life with right. your family in your friendships you know uh, uh just be kinder to the people in your life be kinder to yourself mm-hmm. you know there is success is important but uh, what is more important is the time you have with the people you love right, right. you know uh, uh, and and spend that time take that time value that time and and you will your destiny is i mean destiny is if you work hard if you're passionate you will reach where you have to right. uh, but you will never get that time with your loved ones back again right. so i awesome. always always think uh, kindness and 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 companionship is really important uh, so nikhil i i actually got a lot of questions i have prepared and say if you can see i have got a lot of questions <laughs> yeah, you read. We, yeah yeah no but right. you you also read a lot of articles of my you you have a very yes. good understanding of my life already <laughs> so thank you man i really appreciate it i appreciate the effort you put in this Thank you so much. So, uh, thank you so much, Nikhil, for joining joining in. Uh, you know, we'll we'll wrap up today's live session. Although I had a lot more to talk about, but uh, we'll 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 should we will do this uh, for some other day for sure. Or yeah, we'll let's do this Mumbai and don't call it mental health. <laughs> 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 and I'm sure there are more people Absolutely. would be like, "Chalo, ab 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 mujhe jamna." All right, all right. So we we will not put it that way. But uh, <laughs> we'll schedule it uh, for some day else. Um, I, and uh, I, whenever I'm in Bombay, I'll I'll see you. Uh, Absolutely, we'll, we'll wait, you are in Kolkata right now. I am in Kolkata, yeah. And you, you are based out of Kolkata. I am in Kolkata, yeah, based out of Kolkata only. So, oh, lovely man, lovely. No, when and you know we are supposed to come to Kolkata also as part of, uh, you know the you are also and so someday I am sure when we come back 
there i'll reach out to you as just, well just, but just lovely man out. you're yeah, doing, out, yeah. yeah you're doing a fabulous fabulous job uh, thank you so much for having me i'm always excited and happy whenever a young person wants to is is uh, uh, is putting themselves out there and and doing such phenomenal work so best of luck with career kida and i really hope to see uh you know a lot more from you and and i hope that we also find a way to work together at some time absolutely thank you so much for joining in man uh thank it's you. lovely speaking with you uh it's, it's, you know it's always lively when when someone uh, someone like minded uh, you speak with someone like minded so thank you so much i'm uh, glad you feel and, that <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much nikhil and we'll i'll see you whenever i'm in mumbai next cheers man absolutely man best of luck take care bye bye yeah bye